So is the Insta360 ONE RS worth the hype? That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today we're gonna check out the Insta360 ONE RS, the second version of Insta360's ONE R. In our last videos, we've reviewed the Insta360 ONE X and the Go2, which were perfect additions to our video kit. We'll see what's in the box, discuss the features, and take it out in the wild. In full disclosure, the Insta360 ONE S in this video was sent to us by Insta360. We didn't purchase it with our own money. We have not received any cash or other forms of compensation in exchange for this video. And nobody has had any pre-approval or conditions on the contents of this video before it was released. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. You've seen just about every YouTuber talking about the ONE RS. The hype is incredibly massive with this action camera. Is it the modularity? Is it two cameras in one? Is it overly complex? Or is it all of those things? Let's find out. Comes with a 64 gig memory card. So this looks like the battery. This is the 360 lens. And this is the core unit with the 4K boost lens. USB-C cable. 360 lens protector, a mount. This looks like the case and a lens cloth. It's a modular action camera. So let me show you guys how fast it is to put together and take apart when switching lenses. So we'll start with the 4K boost lens, put in the battery, done. Take it apart, put in the 360 lens, battery, done. So this 4K boost lens features a half inch sensor that can output 48 megapixels and 6K widescreen video. The 5.7K 360 lens does what most 360 cams can do, like reframing and the invisible selfie stick shots. The brains of the ONE RS is called the Core, which features active HDR, in-camera flow state stabilization, and better internal audio. So this RS battery, which attaches to the bottom, has 21% more power than the original R. There's so many features with this camera, including a ton of special effects and editing techniques that you could find in the Insta360 app. So with this case, it gives you the GoPro style mount, it comes with the base here. So to remove it, you just click these two buttons, that pops up and then this thing slides out. So size wise, the Insta360 RS is pretty much the same size as the GoPro 9 or 10. Weight wise, I feel like the RS feels lighter. That's a good thing. A lot of people ask if they should get a GoPro 10 or a 360 camera. This is really the best bang for your buck because you get both. We finally have a warm day in Michigan. So let's take it out for a ride. <laughs> So the 360 camera, especially for e-bikes, is the best way to get the most interesting angles possible, front, back, side, wherever. And you can do all of this in post-production.
is the GEP RC Cinelog 30, and you can mount the RS on top. You'll notice that I was able to take the battery off to shave some weight. And because the RS has a USB port, that means that I can power it off the balance lead of my 4S battery. We'll test out the flight time. I mean, it might drain the LiPo battery, but it is significantly lighter than the GoPro 9 or 10. So I think the weight savings will help with the flight time. All right, we're gonna test the Insta360 ONE RS on our Cinewhoop drone. Put this on first, the camera should light up. And so the balance plug is powering the ONE RS, as you can see. So our settings look good, we'll just start the camera. Okay, so the camera's rolling. All right, here we go. It's looking pretty good. So right now the ONE RS costs about $550 and the combo of the GoPro Hero 10 plus a GoPro Max would cost about $950. The price difference is significant. Also the ONE RS 4K edition is about $150 cheaper than the Hero 10 at about $299. So final thoughts, I think Insta360 is incredibly consistent with their product drops that I think they're really pulling ahead of GoPro. Their lineup has something for everyone from casual users to professionals, and that's the beauty of the ONE RS. It could adapt to become either a simple point and shoot or a dynamic post-production 360 camera. There's no other action camera on the market that has this much versatility. So if you're looking for a 360 camera but also wanted a 4K action camera, the Insta360 ONE RS makes that decision easier since it's basically both of those things in one. There is a link in the description below to get a camera if you're interested in the ONE RS. With that link, you'll get an invisible selfie stick from Insta360 for free, but only if you click the link below. If you wanna dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side, and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you save money on tech. We'll see you guys in the next video.